Um, welcome back to my live vlog. I know it's been a long, long time, and I totally apologize for the wait. But uh, Kay Fair here, our producer, has some new digs, so he had to move and all that stuff. And we're back. And I have a special guest with me. This Hi. is Stan Morrow. Stan, the viewer's choice Morrow. I'm on Facebook. <laughs> he is on Facebook, and he's a comedian. Everybody else. <laughs> he's a, a pretty <laughs> funny guy. So no, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he can, um, you know, touch down on our topic today, which is um, dealing with the bruised male ego. Um, and if you're bruised or, you know, your ego is bruised, how you would deal with that appropriately and pretty much how not to deal with it. I act like a man. Not like a bitch. Yes. Pretty much. Can I say that? Yes. I just, oh, yeah. I mean, I just did. Just say, I can't say that. <laughs> There's no censors. Like, it's not, it's not like a bitch ass man. Or saying things like that to people you don't know. I've known him for 10 hours, and he went from 0 to 100 because I didn't want to talk to him. Hey, Mel, I'm going to just speak over you guys yes. so that you guys know that I made a mistake. Oh. The mic was off for like 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, are you serious? <laughs> so Wait, is it on now? Production, yes, it's on now. It's on right now. Yeah. What you can hear me. Yes. What did everyone hear? Asian everyone Smith. heard. Everyone heard all kinds of bitches and holes. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, okay. you can recant your story. Okay. So, so Asian Smith can hear us right now. He <laughs> tells no sound. Okay. Sorry, guys. There was no sound. But um. <laughs> <laughs> A black production. <laughs> so I was basically. B E T. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was basically saying that um, there was this guy who was interested in me. I met him last night. He worked for the CTA. He was interested in me um, and called me like 10 times in a row. Or not to, he called me four times within a 10-hour span of time, which is just as bad. And, um, and the minute I told him that I wasn't interested, it escalated quicker than anything you could ever imagine. He went from a... Uh... He went from a uh, man to bitch in like zero to sixty seconds. Like, yes, exactly. Like, like and sixty quick. is like, a lot of time for like this guy. Quick. Right. Like. <laughs> so, um, have you ever heard of, or have you ever had friends, or like any? Have you ever heard of that specific type of situation? I have, like mostly from my female friends. I've heard that a lot mm -hmm. because like a lot of women are like, oh, you know, 
I saw this guy at the mall, oh, whatever they go to store right. <laughs> or train. It's kind of like we meet the worst kind of people at. Yeah. But then you the still train. you still give them, like numbers or anything, and it's like or like even when they're just out and about and like, yeah. dude, like hey what's up hey ma hey look hey what's up right and she's like oh no I'm good let me fuck you old fat ass dumb ass bitch like <laughs> yes. yes. Stupid ass, yeah. but like, damn, so like, she just said no. Right. right. It's like, dudes are like borderline rapists out here sometimes. Yeah. That's why yes. I'm yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, you hear stories like that, but just stop. Like, if you're watching this and that's something you do, just stop. Just stop. Like, you're, they're like, two <laughs> shades with me and Chris Brown out here. Like, stop yeah. that shit, please. Yeah, that's, it's, it's totally not okay. And, I mean, like, I did another vlog <laughs> that a lot of people enjoyed about rejection. And I think that this is a whole other facet. It's not even about rejection anymore. It's about, like, the guy or these types of guys feeling like their ego has been, like, stomped on. Because, apparently, I guess they seem to think that they can get every girl that they like. That also depends on the caliber of females that they're probably used to talking to. And I was clearly not that for this guy. Um, and I mean, there was another separate time like years ago when I was walking, it was like on a strip mall. I was walking down the street and this guy was like trying to talk to me and I wasn't interested. And then he was like, oh, well, you look like a man anyway. And I was kind of like, well, you were just hitting on me. So either you are interested in men or... I'm like, man, with titties. Right, exactly. So Strong it's ass. just... Strong <laughs> ass woman, that's all right. So it's so just... Like uh, basketball with... Right. In the post. <laughs> Play football with. <laughs> so... <laughs> Two-hand touching. <laughs> so it's just, uh, it's just really strange. And anyone in the chat, if you all have ever heard any of these stories or like... I mean... Okay, well, let's let's go to this facet while people come up with questions and all that great stuff. What do you think is the appropriate way to well, come you, at a... To get rejected? No, no, not to get rejected. Or, <laughs> no. To walk away. <laughs> Take an L. The appropriate uh, way to try to talk to a girl without her thinking that you're creepy. Oh, oh that's easy. Don't talk to them at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter what you say to a girl. Like, I'm, I don't know, like, all you guys or the few guys, or I don't know how many people watch this right now. I mean, unless you're, like, the smoothest motherfucker alive, if you were, you're probably not watching this right now. But, like, it's hard. Like, you can't, it's hard. Like, every girl's different. True. So, it's like, if I go to a woman, if I had times where I go to a girl and she's, like, she's cute and everything, I'm like, oh, hey, excuse me. I was going to say you're really cute, you know, I might understand. She's like, what the fuck ever? And she's like, what? Do it with that face? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you was a rat. I'm sorry. But I didn't say that. That's what I think. You don't know, so just like, walk away. Like, okay, that's not cool. No, I mean, it's just like, as long as you don't go in like in the rapey type way. Rape, rape rage. Yeah, like, I think that's the best yeah, way to describe that like, guy. Like, if you don't, if you don't like, because like, when a girl walks past you, this is one thing I know is like, when a girl walks past a dude and like, She's trying to get attention. He like pull her arm. Yeah. Or, oh like, yeah. Like, and be real touchy, and they get mad like, when she pulls away. Yeah, it's like I. Yeah, yeah that's that, happened to me a lot. Who's that too. dude that pulls arms? Stop. <laughs> stop touching them. They don't issues. know you. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> just don't. I guess like don't. It's not so much how you approach the girl. Just be you. Yeah. I'm not. Well, I'm not like a counselor or a love doctor or anything like that. I'm single. No STDs, ladies. So. <laughs> If two two or three girls see this, two girls two or three girls see this, like hey, what's up? But no, like if well, how are you approach a girl? Just approach a girl natural, right? Just be you, because you don't want to be a liar first. But you just get denied. Just walk away. Just yeah, don't get angry. Thousands of other vaginas around in the world with just one. It's just so Who bad. you don't know, yeah. like that guy. She might have mace. Yeah, true. Split yeah, or voice. knife. Yeah, the, so the CGA guy <laughs> knew him since 10.30 last night, and it escalated that quickly in that short period of time. And it was, I mean, the thing that made me... <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's totally right. Pull that chick's on. <laughs> Whoever wrote that, thank you. I like you. <laughs> um, the, thing, the thing that makes me think, like specifically with this situation that I dealt with today with this crazy guy, was... 
if it wasn't me, it could have been some other girl that didn't know how to deal with that situation and probably would have been scared or yeah. thought, you know, this guy probably would try to attack them or, you know, whatever. Because he totally was like, oh, well, I know where you work at and I like crazy stuff. So it was just, I mean, restraining orders I exist. I think you should read the text message. I think you should Oh, okay. So, yeah. Actual text message. Yeah. So just for a prime example of this class act, <laughs> um, after I was, after I told him. Oh, by the way, if um you don't have like a cool name, don't say crazy. That this dude's name is Charles, <laughs> which always already sounds like a creepy ass person. <laughs> and no offense to anybody's name, Charles, but just don't like my name is Stan. I can't just do creepy shit. <laughs> like man, fuck you, bitch. Like oh, Stan's angry. Like Charles sounds creepy. Just chill out. Yeah, like just know, just know the value of your name before you say something weird. Yeah, so I told him, dude, you called me last night before I woke up this morning, and again you called me. Please chill out. He said, you, you see the letter U and the letter C, how easy it was for you to respond back and say that, LOL. Oh, by the way, my name is Chuck, not dude. I said, dude, you are thirsty as hell. I'm no longer interested. Then, this was instantly after I sent him that text message. He says, bitch, get your clown ass out, out of here, out of here. I really didn't see shit in your fat ass anyway, other than some other sexual expletive that I don't want to say on my show. Um, yeah, you're right. I'm thirsty for talking to your fat ass. And I said, you know, you're obviously an idiot because I know that you work for CTA and I could just report you. So, and then he goes on threatening me and other terrible things. So, it that was just like a snippet of some of the other things that the guy said. Um, Sam read the whole thing. Yeah, and word, uh, word of advice to fellas, straight guys out there watching this. Um, if you're angry, don't spell the word come as in, like, don't come at me like this. C-U-M. Because that's really suspect. You look like a moron. That's, that's <laughs> dumb. If you, I mean, you just do. Just, so hey, if you're a grown ass man, <laughs> don't text like a little girl. Yeah, yeah, that it did. Especially when you angry. It did feel like, like it was a temper tantrum, like he was a child, <laughs> and I was kind of like, you have a sexual hissy fit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told you no. Yeah, Charles, <laughs> stop that shit. Um, it's like Chris Brown, I, you know, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't like Chris Brown personally. Sorry, anybody likes him. <laughs> he, yeah, he got tantrum. real. He got like confusingly angry. Like it, it like you would have thought that I had like a child with him or something and like we had known each other for ten years. Like I was just kinda like, How do you act with people that you've known for longer than me? I've known you for ten hours I'm and I'm assuming he was married, so <laughs> right. <laughs> he was married already. It's on girls on the train. Um yeah, I yeah, don't grab people without their consent. Don't curse girls out when they reject you. Having a bruised ego, like, having an ego that is too big for who you are as a person is the number one problem. And when people like that, when their egos get bruised, they easily fall and go into, like, rage rape mode, and they become that guy. Because uh, I've experienced that, maybe not to this extreme cal caliber, but I've totally experienced that before from random dudes on the street. And it's kind of like, if you can't deal with someone just literally saying no, how do you deal with other real life situations? Like a job telling you no, you're a family member telling you no. I, I mean, anything, like real life situations. That's like some sociopathic type stuff. Like if you go from zero to 100 like that. Um, uh, if you have anything else to add, I, oh my god, Green Lantern, hey, Green Lantern, like, curse them bros out. Is that Charles? No, <laughs> Charles, you Green Lantern? He's just like, curse them bitches out. Um, fuck that bitch. Does anyone have any questions, or do you have anything else to add? <laughs> um, no, just really, just, um, oh man, just be like. Also, pretend you have a daughter. How would you want somebody to come at your daughter? That's, That's what true. I think of. Like, I don't have kids, ladies. 
thirsty. Um, <laughs> right. No, nah, I don't have kids, but I think like you know, if I had a daughter, like for real, if I had a daughter, right. I don't want to want somebody to approach my daughter. And what I'll do is somebody across my daughter in a bad way. You would probably have you a know, gun like, and I'll, follow you know, them. Slap the shit out of somebody. <laughs> just so you know, say what you would say to your daughter. Like to like, you want somebody to say to your daughter at first, not before you get all freaky and shit. <laughs> Uh, just the initial, like, hey, how you doing? My name is such and such. You know, we want to kick it sometime, or, you know, can I give you a call, or it's okay to text you, you yeah. have a man, or you have By the way, if you talk to a girl and she has a man, stop saying, oh, well, you can't have friends, though. Cause, oh, oh that man. happened, too. <laughs> yeah. I don't have goddamn friends. <laughs> That like, happens too. That's just so thirsty for no reason. Yeah, like, the thirst is very real. That's just so bad. Like, just I'll be like, hey, you know, you, you, know, you can't have friends. I'm just saying. Oh, like, God. There was this you, you guy. Know, you, you, you know. <laughs> you know you want. Uh, do we have a question? Watch your hands. Oh, my fault. Oh, um, Talking like a rapper. And, <laughs> and so, you know, and that is interesting because, like, I have experienced, like, there was this other guy, he was, like, old, he was probably old enough to be my father, and he was trying to flirt with me on the train, and he was like, oh, you know, so <laughs> you're not with nobody, blah, 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 and I was like, no, I, I mean, I'm not really interested in you, and he, like, kept talking to me, and it was kind of like, I'm pretty sure you're in your 40s. Like, I don't understand what you don't see, that there's no connection, it's, it, and he talked to me for 20 minutes. <laughs> like I was looking at my phone, looking, and I'm just like, I, I don't really want to talk to you anymore. That didn't stop him. It's just, I mean, you know, I try to be nice. And oh, the other thing that was weird about Charles was that it did start off nice. He was actually really nice initially, and then it became that I was a fat, stupid bitch. So <laughs> I, I mean. Yeah, Bruce Ego. Bruce Ego is a, is a monster. Um, so we have a lot of stuff going on in this sidebar here. Um, are there any questions from the audience? Yes. Do got no game. Is, am I the dude that has no game? <laughs> it's Charles. I was just saying, I'll just make conversation. <laughs> so what I've learned and what the issue becomes, especially, is something about trains. And buses, apparently. Yeah, that is where the creeps are. I had, there was a guy when I was down in Champaign who was like, oh, you on the phone with your boyfriend? Mind you, I didn't have a boyfriend at the time, but I said yes, because I wasn't interested. Right. He was like, well, you can't have no friends? <sighs> Here we go. I was like, I'm not really interested. And he was like, well, that's cool. You know, I can show you around. I was like, whatever. He was like, you should. You? <laughs> I can show no. you around Six Flags. I can show you around Champagne. The champagne. champagne. Yes. Is the side street? Right. <laughs> Main street. There's a school. Yeah. Champagne. Basically. And I gave him the phone number of a phone I planned on turning off. But that's in a good that one. time. That's dirty. <laughs> in that time he the... managed to call me repeatedly he ended up finding out where I was living oh. he would go play basketball over there he would sing on my voicemail and tell me that because I gave him my number that I was supposed to do things with him whoa, whoa. the thirst is clearly real it's not even thirst. that's just fucking weird yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I think that so thirst. Anybody that wants to go to Champaign, Illinois, don't go there because <laughs> obviously it's creepy ass people <laughs> that you give numbers to. They want to do whatever they want to no, do there. The lesson is don't give your phone number to people you meet on the bus. True. You know, I learned that today. <laughs> thirst, thirst, and uh, creepiness have a really fine line that they skate with each other, and. You know, some guys get really creepy with the thirst, and it's just it's just not a uh, not great. I like what Ro Magna said. Ro, was it Romega? Yes. Romega. My bad. Yeah, lack of communication causes uh, the booze feelings as well too. Makes yeah, sense. I'm an I'm an avid um, communication person, but the thing, my problem with it is guys that are like that that are that extreme. 
I feel, <laughs> I feel like when you bruise their ego, it doesn't matter if you're polite or because I didn't really say anything that bad to the guy. He just like went off. That's some type of psychological thing. It doesn't have anything. Anyone could have said that to him, and he would have acted the same way. You say he was short too, though, right? Yeah, and he, yeah. So he probably had a Napoleon complex, sure. unfortunately. So it. I'm six three. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> if, if there's any girls out there watching this right now, say no kids. <laughs> um, and if nobody else has any questions, can you say anything about having a job? Mm. Oh, I got a job. Yeah, he, yeah he's, he's, he's responsible. Yeah. I'll work at Yolk, so. Yes, yeah, so I'll work at. <laughs> I serve breakfast. No, I have a car. No, I'm the CTA pass. A limited CTA pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's something y'all said, though. So it makes sense. Like, but, every, but a lot of things y'all said kind of had a little common theme to it. Mm. It was like, you're at some weird city bus stop. You're at the CTA train and on the bus one time. And the strip mall, which sounds like it was somewhere bad. Yeah, like, it was on 87. Yeah, okay. So you gotta, <laughs> it's kind of like you got to know where you're at, too. Because you got to, like, know where you're at to know what kind of creepiness. Well, to, Charles was downtown. He was at so. work. So. He, <laughs> he was at work. Which is even worse. Why are you at work kidding on girls? Just saying. Where you're working on He was, at, he was on at, on at work girls. downtown. But, I mean, it's just like you got to know where you're at, though, too. So. True. You can't really spec gold if you go into like. I didn't. I was just know, being a nice person. Save a lot. Try to holler at somebody. Like, oh, you stop groceries? That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I don't. The moral of the story is: don't give your number out to creepy people on the train. Um, a bruised ego makes a hard head and a really soft ass, and. Really stupid action. Oh, such an old saying. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it does well. Because yeah, clearly, dude was super bruised. Um, but, oh, yeah, the comments. None of them are asking questions, though. They're just doing shenanigans. The comments are funny right now. They are pretty funny. Um, <laughs> Bros get thirsty for money. The females will come, believe. Uh, what does like that, that mean? Well, like, if you have money, then, like, females will come, and then he says, believe, like, believe. But do you no, want no, those no. females, though? No, they're saying that if you focus on money, then, then the, the chicks will come. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. <laughs> that kind link, of thing. I want to get a link card. And, then, have, those and have groceries? Just fall out. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Sexiest thing I think, one of the things I think is real sexy is a full refrigerator. <laughs> that, you know, having, <laughs> thank you, having food. Thank you, Kevin. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> you know. You can't cook. Yeah, uh, that's true. You can be full of Hot Pockets. Oh, Hot Pockets that's are delicious. Nice. <laughs> hot Pockets um, are snacks. I, I, unless anyone else has anything to say? Do you have anything else to say? Oh, yeah, I, was, I am just a guest. <laughs> I am a guest <laughs> of this one of the show. Yeah. Has a girl me? ever flipped out on you for, like, you not being interested in them? Oh. Lately? Yeah. Actually, I had. Yeah. Come on, thank you. Like, this older lady. <laughs> <laughs> cougar. It's kind of cougar. And she was, like, coming to be real tough. And she was, like, I just told her, like, I just got a relationship. You know, I'm not trying to be anybody, you know. I ain't say like, I'm just trying to fuck. I was like, hey. Whoa. I was in Chicago. <laughs> and she was like in St. Louis. I'm like, okay, it's cool. You know, I'm not trying to be in a relationship, you know, this, that, whatever. So she would text me. And like, since, you no, know, I'll, I'll work, but now I'm also working on different projects and everything too. So like, I was busy. Right. And then she like, texts me back. She's like, well, you know, since she don't respond, he said, you're not interested, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, whoa. That's some aggressive much. You goddamn right. I'm like, you need to get out of here. Like, 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 what, she doesn't have any teeth now? I don't know. Like, she came me real crazy. Like, she was trying to find a husband. And I'm just like, <laughs> no. Damn. Like, first of all, I met you one time while I was serving you. And I looked at the time, face to face, I was living it. I gave you no say. Pass numbers along, that's about it. But then she went crazy. I was like, yeah, we're good. Uh, like, sometimes How like, did you win that? I'll, I well, just said, hey, I'm not interested in <laughs> you. I'm <Miss>. sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not here with that old school <laughs> It's not you, it's me. Right. Sorry. Hey, 
I ain't shit. I don't know where you want to believe. But if I got a lie, but look, I'm gay. I don't get shit. <laughs> I like boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I saw a dick on TV the other day. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not? Like, if I got a lie, I'm like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. Get your crazy ass up off me. It's fine. But I just had to let it go. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Like, you're looking for a husband. I'm good. Wow. Well, let's just say, you want to see female yeah. thirds work out. Oh, is that response to somebody? Do you no, want... if you want to see some female thirst work out, take your shirt off. Oh, well, me? Or... That's also not true. I'm sorry. Because Ooh, even if you're yeah. even if you're cut, oh. the, I don't know what type of females you're talking about, but oh. <laughs> it, that don't work for everybody. Because you can be know. ugly as hell that and have right. a nice body. I'd have to contest that. that yeah, thank yeah, you. Because no, there's, some, there's some women out there, like, do be like, no, they don't cut as hell, and she be like, did you see those two dudes that went to the Miami Dolphins game and nothing but Speedos? Yeah. So, yeah, see, you said that. <laughs> but one lady was like, okay, so this was really stupid, but look at his body. And people would be like, but you're not supposed to be dressed like that. Her next comment was, but look at his body. And so, yeah, there was, you know, about four or five women that was just like, Regardless of how stupid it is, you know, dude has a great looking body. Yeah, I haven't seen girls like deal with dudes like, especially working in a restaurant. Mm. You see like some of the prettiest girls with some of the dumbest dudes yeah. because they're in shape. Like oh, dumb dudes, like, yeah. like, hey, what can I get you to drink? Uh, good. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, good. He wants a coke. I'm like, is he retarded? <laughs> <laughs> like, can he not talk? <laughs> You see what, does he, what does he want to eat? <laughs> like, he's dumb as hell, oh. but he's just buff as fuck. So he'd be like, oh, he's okay. He's a fan. I'm like, all right, whatever. He's a, he didn't pass. I have a grade. job and no kids. Like, Chicks start turning into Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> a job and no kids? Yep. That's because they have all the kids. <laughs> yep. My parents. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know if there are any more questions on the sidebar. It looks like it's just a bunch of shenanigans. Look, so, uh. Words are wise. Don't fall for the doesn't smell like chloroform trick. You'll be sorry. We're going to rape ass shit. Thin line between creepy and what was the other thing I said? Thirst. So, um. <laughs> yeah. Is that Quagmire? Like, <laughs> Ruby Coladas and shit? <laughs> um. Like, what the hell? Like, I, I think this has brought out the worst in everyone. <laughs> what the hell? Out of nowhere. Like, hey, what is this rag smell like for for? <laughs> what kind of chicks are you fucking with? Um, dumb as broads. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> Want to smell this wash a washcloth? No. <laughs> I think I think we've all been a little creepy tonight. <laughs> We've successfully talked about this subject, oh, and I want to thank Sam Morrow for coming oh, out. Thank You're you. the greatest. Bless you. Bless you. Like <laughs> Please Oprah. don't stalk me afterwards. Nah, <laughs> I promise I won't stalk you. It's okay. I have I have high speed air in there. <laughs> so being a single man, it's like it's like gold. That's like gold. Yes. It is. Right. I don't know if this is sponsored by you, but shout out to Pornhub. Thanks, <laughs> video. Uh, Eddie Torrance. Uh, no, no sponsors at all. No, okay, just out of curiosity. Well, uh, I think we're good. I hope everybody enjoyed watching this uh, vlog. I think my next one is going to actually be a series that a couple of people have asked me to start making about black nerd society and black cosplay and all of this stuff and all the different rules that rules quote unquote that go into it according to other people i guess wow. so that should be fun thank you everyone for tuning in thank you everyone in the room for making this possible thank you san you're the greatest Yay. and oh. we're not right <laughs> oh, bye guys oh wait if you give a shit um i'm on facebook like don't worry about it just don't worry about it <laughs> he is on facebook don't worry about it it's, instagram <laughs> at Choice Comedy or Twitter, same thing, at Choice Comedy. So check it out. I, I say things here and there. He does. I just talk stuff. <laughs> Shout out to Charles for fucking up everything. Right, Char man, Charles. Charles is a terrible man. <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> made the show possible. Go right, he did Charles. make the show possible. <laughs> uh, shout out, uh, no, I'm going to shout out who's on here. Uh, Green Lantern 99, Romega, 
Joe D. McPhee, McPhee. for trading like different weird rape tactics. <laughs> 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 grab her. <laughs> what do you want? Grab this by the shoulders. <laughs> that was showing bruises. Throw her in the me. trunk. Uh, oh. All right. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Mm -hmm.